All right then, so this is getting there, right? It's looking pretty good now. We've got the navigation sorted for desktops, but I also want to make it look pretty good for mobiles. And currently, mm, it doesn't look great. Uh, what I'd like to do is maybe put this over to the left, some kind of icon on the right, some kind of menu icon, and the menu be hidden by default. When we click on that icon, though, it shows the menu. So some kind of drop down menu. So let's sort that out. The first thing we need to do is get an icon over here. So I'm going to go back to hero icons and I've searched for menu. I'm going to use this one right here, the Bergen Ave, and then I'm going to come over to the template. This right here, this is the title inside the navigation. So that's this bit right here we want to place it after that and i'm going to do it inside a div container now this div first of all is going to have a few different classes the first one is going to be px-4 to give it some padding in the x direction also cursor hyphen pointer so we get that little finger over the icon when we hover over it and then also, I want to say that for larger screens, we don't show it. Well, for medium sized screens and up. So the way we do that is by saying MD and then hidden. So this hidden class hides an element, but we're only hiding it for medium sized screens and up because we only want this to show on smaller screens, right? So inside there, I'm going to place this SVG. I'm going to save it and check it out. And that is humongous. So let's just address that by giving this SVG a class and setting the width by saying W-6. Save that and preview. And okay, that is looking a bit better. But we want it up here sitting next to Food Ninja. And we also want Food Ninja to go way over on the left. So we could control this using Flexbox because we have a wrapper, this div, around these two items. We could make that a flex container. So I'm going to say div class is equal to flex first of all and if we save that we should see them sitting next to each other first of all okay now let's move this one over to the right by using a justify class and the one i'm going to use is justify hyphen between and that puts space between the two things so this is going to be way over on the left this way over on the right and we can see that if we go back cool now we just need to bring this down so it's in the middle and we do that by using a different class to control the alignment in the vertical direction and that class is items where is it it's this thing right here so items hyphen center and now this is centrally vertically in this row of content it's not done that that's because I've left off the s okay preview awesome looking good so now we need to hook up the functionality so that when we click on this it shows the menu click on it again and it hides it and also by default we want to hide this smaller screens and only show it when we get to medium sized screens and above so let's do that first let's go down to this ul over here so this is the thing we ultimately want to hide for smaller screen sizes so let's say hidden by default if we save that and preview then it's not there right by default that's what we want and only show it when we click this but when we get to a larger screen we want to show that so let's now say MD colon and block and that means it's going to go from display none to display block at the medium size screen and up so now we should see it here but we don't down here all right cool so now we need to hook up this functionality so that when we click on this, it shows the menu. When we click on it again, it hides the menu. And to do that, we're going to use a little bit of JavaScript. But first of all, I want to give this UL a ID equal to menu so that we can get a grab of this from the JavaScript using this ID. And also this icon right here, I want to give this an ID as well so we can get a grab of that and set that equal to burger. All right. So now let us create inside the public folder a new file called index.js. You can call this file what you want. It doesn't really matter. And let's create the JavaScript for this. So the first thing we need to do is get a handle on this element and also this element because they're the things we're going to be using in the script. We're using this to attach a click event to. So when we click it, it opens this. All right. So I'm going to say const burger is equal to document.querySelector and then inside there we want the burger ID awesome now let's do the next one so const menu is equal to documents dot query selector and that is going to be menu 
Awesome, so we have those two now. The next thing I want to do is attach a click event to this burger. So burger.addEventListener and then we're going to listen for a click event and fire a callback function when that event occurs. So what I want to do inside this function is check does this thing right here, does the menu itself, the UL, where is it? Does this thing, does it contain the class hidden? Because if it contains that class, it means it's currently not showing, right? So if it does contain that class, I'm going to remove it because if we click on it, that icon, we want to show the menu. So we want to remove the hidden class. Now, if it doesn't contain that class, it means it's currently showing. And at that point, if we click on the icon, we want to hide the UL. So we want to apply this hidden class to it. So let's do that check over here. I'm going to say if and then menu dot class list dot contains. And this is going to be hidden. So if it contains that hidden class, then I want to say menu dot class list dot remove and we want to remove that hidden class. OK, now otherwise, if that's not the case, we want to add the class. So menu dot class list dot add to add hidden. All right. So I hope that makes sense. Whenever we click on the burger icon, if it's currently hidden, we're going to remove that hidden class so it shows. If it's not currently hidden, we're going to add that hidden class so it doesn't show. So save that and we need to link up to that in our HTML. So right at the bottom of the body over here, let's do that. So script and the source is index.js. Save that and check this out in a browser. And if we click this, it shows. If we click it again, it hides. Now, even though we're hidden over here, when we get to medium sized screens, we show because we apply that class of block. So it's always going to show for larger screens, but when we get down here, it only shows when we remove that hidden class when we click on this.